Here's an ear you can fill. I won't judge. I'm no judge. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Hello and welcome if you are new to our soul family, our soul tribe. I'm very happy you're here. Welcome to your message from your spirit guides reading, also your angels and your ancestors. Before we get into your reading today, I do have some announcements to make. If you would like to skip through <laughs> at any time, feel free. I have it linked below the chapters of kind of what I'm talking about. I think you might want to stick around though. The first announcement is the, well, the first thing I just want to say is thank you so much for being here and thank you for all the likes, the comments, the beautiful messages while I was away, sending all that love and light and healing energy. I felt it all and I want to say thank you for that. It really just means the world to me. Also, thank you for the donations. I appreciate that a lot. I hope I have reached out to everybody. Sometimes I can't, I don't know. There's this sort of like, I don't see your email. So if I have not, please know that I have seen them and I thank you so much. Now, the obvious announcement is that I'm changing things around a little visually, something I've been wanting to do for a while. And while I was away healing, I was able to, yeah, to do that. So I hope you are enjoying the changes. There are some more to come. With that is a new intro, which you might have noticed if you have not watched it, you can go back and rewind if you want to, to see and hear it. And yeah, I am including my music in that. That is my song. So if you are interested in my music or you just wanna read more about me, as a musician, me as a person, yeah, that's who I am. <laughs> you can go to my website down below that is also linked, not the tarot closet, we're talking about my music. That brings me to the very first big announcement is I do have a new Facebook community for us here at the tarot closet where we can all talk, get to know each other a lot better on a way more personal level and just kind of take out that third party, so to speak, and directly connect. That is going to be linked below. So please go over and join our Facebook group. There's nobody there yet. I'm just announcing it here for the first time and kind of un unhiding it, I guess you could say. I've had it very private because, well, it's just sitting there waiting for me to be ready. So <laughs> feel free to go over there. Now, eventually I will be turning the comments off again and probably yeah, for the, won't be turning them on for the foreseeable future. That's not gonna happen quite yet. They're still going to be on for a while, but I would like to kind of move everybody over to that group. We will be communicating also in other ways through other platforms, but that's where we're gonna start now. So definitely make sure that you head on over there to the Tarot Closet, Tarot Community Facebook group. It is linked down below. You will see me there. You will see who I am, my music website. It's all there. <laughs> so yeah. The second big announcement is I'm finally giving away decks. I've been wanting to do that for, I've done it only once and I've really been wanting to do it as a thank you for all your love and support. In the just over a year that I've been here on YouTube, I started releasing videos in the spring and yeah, so it's been a little bit over a year and I've been wanting to say thank you. So I'm a little late. <laughs> thank you for everything. I appreciate it through all the ups and downs. Lots of ups and downs, I know. But that is all changing. And I wanna give away for November. This is gonna be for November. I will be giving away a deck every month. The most beautiful deck. Grim Alkin's Curious Cats Tarot. If you've not seen this deck, I'll just give you kind of a little bit of a peek. It is um, one of the most beautiful decks by one of my favorite authors. Look at this. You might have already seen them in my reading. This is a brand new deck. It's yours, but I wanted to show you the Magician card. <laughs> well, I didn't want to show you that. I wanted to show you the deck, but look, Spirit wanted you to see this. I love this for you. Gosh, guys, okay, so manifesting here and bringing some of your dreams to reality already coming through. 
Mercury energy, very strong message from your spirit guides, angels and ancestors today. Look, the full card was just sliding off. What else do we have here? The king of pentacles. <laughs> it's not a tarot reading today, but gosh, you guys. Okay, I'm going to stop. If you would like to be entered into Grimalkin's Curious Cats tarot giveaway, make sure you watch today's reading like the reading, make sure you're subscribed to the channel first of all, share the reading and comment down below. I will be picking a winner at random every month and announcing it in the community tab, so make sure you're keeping an eye on that. The, what is this, the last announcement? I think this is the last announcement. The last announcement I wanna make is I'm also going to be giving away free readings, one free reading every month. So if you would like to be entered into that, keep an eye out on the readings. I'm going to be announcing that in a particular reading every month. So if you are hearing it, you will hear what to do to be entered and that will also be getting announced in the community tab every month. Okay, so if you're still here and you have not skipped through, we're going to get into your message from your spirit guides reading. We are shuffled and ready to go as always, but I like to get a little bit of real time shuffling. So let's get a little bit more. What would you like to show? Whoever has arrived here today, what messages need to be seen and heard and received? Leap, you go first, the universe will catch you. Well, I love this for you. What is it that you're wanting to do? Because we already saw the full card and the magician, which are connected, I want to say. The magician is like a more mature version of the full card. What are you manifesting? Because it is about to happen for you. Very clear here to trust yourself, your intuition, your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels. It really is a well, I don't want to say leaping into the unknown, but kind of here, something that I say a lot and that I've always lived my life with is fake it till you make it. Now, not everybody believes in that saying and that's okay. You don't need to, but it really is just about, yeah, because it's about going for it. It's exactly the, the cards we saw, the fool and the magician in here, leaping, going for it. Because sometimes we, we think about these things we want to do, and I am guilty of that as well. And we just hold them off. We wait and we think, I'm not going to do this until I do this. Or I can't do this because of this. When really we, we just need to start with what we have. The magician card made its way into your reading today. That is spirit saying you have all the tools that you need. Everything is there. All the elements. Water, air, earth, fire. Everything that you need to bring your dreams to reality, you have them. They're within you. What you have around you, including, I feel like, I feel like we're going to see a soul tribe card. The crumbling, what are you clinging on to? Yeah, something has been stopping you from beginning something new here. It really is time. Now, look, we can see that. I'm going to show you this as well. The Age of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Oh, gosh. This is very goosebumpy. What is going on in your life here? Before we get into that, this is a lot like a tower moment in some ways. That lightning is causing fire. The fire can be a destroyer, but you know what, the, what else that is? The fire regenerates the ground and, the, and it's more fertile than it's ever been. Really prime for new beginnings. Something has kept you back. Look, leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. You're looking back at your old self here. You're looking back at a version of you that you want to move forward. It doesn't mean you're leaving yourself behind. It's just something that you're clinging on to in your life that you're ready to move on from that is not serving you anymore. It can be a person a thing. <laughs> There's something here that you're very clearly holding on to. That spirit is sending that message. What are you clinging on to? This is crumbling. Look what this is. This is extremely goosebumpy. Look, this is you here. 
something that it's something that it's time to let go of something someone it's crumbling here it's where you're standing you're looking back and a lot of you are already leaping forward and that's a message that you're on the right track and if there is something that you're holding on to this is a really clear message it's very goosebumpy to go because this lightning that created this fire this is going to crumble we can see that look what is beyond it that lightning will go away we see the sun we see things clearing here and look at this horizon this is where you're heading this is going to crumble things crumble in our lives for a reason we have sometimes these tower moments things fires that burn things down new beginnings we have them for a reason so that we can start new with a fresh start there's something here that you've been really holding on to that it's time to look at something here in your life your old self that yeah it's time to move on from guys the age of light you've been training for this for a lifetime this is really big this is so big look this is just sitting here flopping off the deck <laughs> this is yours trust the niggle what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you who it's telling you to leave go first the universe will catch you what are you wanting to do we saw the full card then we saw the more mature version we saw them both the magician card the full card still has hope, wants to take these chances, wants the new path, wants the new beginning. That's the Uranus energy. That That is really kind of chaotic. That's the crumbling here that we're feeling, but that's also change. And that's freedom. That's the Uranus energy. I keep going here. And that was the magician card that made its way in here as we share your, your deck here that we're giving away. That is the Uranus energy coming through. That's the chaos here. But that's also the freedom once you let this crumble and you trust the niggle. What is, what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? My goodness, this is three here. Look, it's the divine, divine timing. Also, look what is behind. There are two shadow selves here. There's, there's something really needing to change. Which inter what's interesting, excuse me, is it's kind of black and white. But if you look at this, you could also see it as some rain. And that is the relief here from the fire. And then, again, it's regenerating with a really fertile ground, with new starts. And look at the vibrancy that is coming. Look at the light here. There might be more. Then one thing that you're trying to change in your life, it's big. It can be person, people. There's something really big going on. You've been training for this for a lifetime. There's something really big going on here. Okay, my gosh. Let's see what else is coming through. I don't have, I go where spirit guides me. Don't have any particular plans for this reading, but this is where we're going to stay. This is wanting to come in, and there's two here. I have other decks that we might bring in. Let's see. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? Oh my gosh. Okay. I want to remind you that when you are watching any reading, keep in mind it's not about gender. We all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies. We see here that this is, a, this is a woman, but this can be representative divine feminine and divine masculine energies. This is you balancing that out, tapping into that divine feminine energy, the warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? There's something here that, yeah, look, you're needing to leap toward. I see that it's really difficult. Look, you're being magically transported. Those are the hands of the magician. That's you alchemizing this crumbling here. It's going to work. Look, you're being guided. We saw that magician card. It's right here. It's spirit. You're looking back. I feel that. It's. I'm feeling that leaving that behind. You're, you've really been thinking about it for a long time, but you've been clinging to it. That is, is yeah, it's crumbling, but it's going to be okay. 
Look at that beautiful, vast horizon. Look what is beyond here. It's absolutely stunning and you can you can get a glimpse of it here. Warrior woman, warrior. But there's some clarity that's needed in order to, yeah, let that crumble. Trust the niggle. What is what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? What is your deepest calling? What is it that you have been holding back from doing? For some of you, that has to do, again, with letting particular people go. It can also be about just something in your life that you're clinging on to that is no longer serving you. There's something here that's not serving you anymore, whether it's people, places, things, thoughts, beliefs. I want to say something to you, and I talk about this a lot in my readings, thoughts, become, yes, I'm a card straightener. <laughs> Thoughts become beliefs. Beliefs become actions. That is a lot of the nature, I want to say, kind of the building blocks of manifesting. So you want to be really careful about any negative thoughts that you might be saying of what you can't do or what you can't let go of. Change that with can. We don't want to use that word because thoughts become beliefs and those become actions. You want those thoughts to stay positive. You want to get clear on what it is you want here. Your deepest calling. Swords are very transactional and it's about getting clarity as well. Really thinking about that clarity and it's, it's very clear here that something, someone, Something is holding you back. For some of you, that is some, some thoughts, as I said, some things that you're feeling like maybe you can't do. You can. You can do them. You have the magician. You have all the tools. You have everything you need. And if you think you don't, think again, <laughs> because you can take all those little elements of what it is you're trying to begin, the next step in your life, where you're trying to go, and alchemize each element and build from there. We're never always, we're not, look at this. That is very clearly yours. Sometimes you just need to leave when you want to do these things. Your, things are just, you wait for things. We wait, we wait for things. We wait and we wait to think this needs to line up and that needs to line up. No, sometimes we just have to leap and go for it and know that the universe will provide, that we have everything we need. And if not, it's within us to attain that. It's within us to take it little by little, one step at a time, one thing to let go of that you need to let go of, one thing toward your goal, that magician card <laughs> making its way back into your reading. What is that ultimate goal? What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? What is your deepest calling? It can be as simple as and I put it in, in this way, if you were, for example, wanting to get into fitness again, and maybe you want to run, and it's just putting it off and putting it off. One thing I always tell myself is just put your shoes on. <laughs> just put your shoes on and go out. You don't have to run. You can just walk. Put them on, and then I say, okay. You, you know, and I just sort of build up to it. Next thing you know, I end up walking, running, or I, or I just go for a walk. But the, it's the act of putting the shoes on. So what is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? What is your deepest calling? What are you clinging on to? This is yours. Life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. For some of you, this is really very clearly work-related. Overworking, something here that you're wanting to change in your life. It's not going to be for everybody that it's work-related, but this is for somebody really in particular. Look, the freedom here in the divine, trusting yourself. I hear you saying, I'm free. That is the Uranus energy again. For some of you, this does have to do with work. For others, this is about the work, the work that you're needing to do and the freedom here that's coming out of, yeah, Letting something go here. I want to bring in. That's yours. Yeah, look. Awakening. Energetic upgrades. A new way of being. Integration. Boy, somebody recently just commented the most beautiful comments about this. I think this was in the messages from their higher self reading. Look at your reading here. 
You've been training for this for a lifetime. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Because you're awakening here. Some of you are already getting this clarity and getting ready to leap. Where are you going? Where are you going? Remember that where you're going is clearly, we, as we see here, where deep down you know you want to go. For some of you, that is releasing someone, something, maybe a job, some thoughts that have become beliefs that have kept you from acting on particular things in your life. Some of you still need to get this clarity look hiding behind the sword. This awakening cannot be denied. It's really clear in your reading. You're just holding back. Some of you are holding back from it, but it's really here for you. I actually want to get one more, and then we're going to bring in some, some other decks here. That is very clearly yours. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, soul tribe. Energetic upgrades. Intuitive hits, your soul tribe. Boy, boy. Uh, <laughs> this couldn't be any clearer, guys. For some of you, this is including people. Yeah, your soul tribe and where it is that you want to get to. You're getting those energetic energetic, excuse me, upgrades. Your intuition is really strong. What is that niggling feeling? That's your intuition. That's your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels. It's you're on the right path, whatever that is. Look, I see you looking back. It's not easy to make big changes in our life. Some of you are, are very clearly already here, already heading here. With the help of your soul tribe, getting those intuitive hits. And some of you need that message today. This is very strong messages for you. Okay, where am I? Where are things going here? I think they kind of moved around. Yeah, I want to bring in, let's just straighten these out. I don't know if this is going to, if you can see all your cards. Wait a second. I want to make sure you can see your cards. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I am a straightener. I want to bring in some universe. Has your back. That's yours. There is there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. I am really tongue tied today. This is your soul tribe. Your soul tribe can be one person. Your soul tribe, sometimes people think, oh, I just have, I don't have a soul tribe. You do. It can be online. Isn't it silly? But it's not really. Social media has brought us all together. I have some people in my life that I've never met in person that I'm closer to online with some people in my real life. Your soul tribe is around you. And if you feel like they're not, look closer can be one person. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. That is the universe. That is also your soul tribe, even if it's that one person here. Show us the cards. Whoa. Okay. That was goosebumpy. They flew. And this is also yours. They really flew. Energy flows where my intention goes. There is that Uranus energy again that we felt in the very beginning with the Magician card. My gosh, you guys, that is being focused about what it is you want. And that is that Uranus energy also from the Fool card. Your intention, where you're putting your intention. But there's something that needs to be freed up. Whether it's people, job, it can be very well. Some shadow work, something here that happened that you need to let go of. That's also really clear here. And for some of you, that those are thoughts, things that are holding you back that, yeah, thoughts become beliefs, become actions or inactions. If we're telling ourselves the wrong things, energy flows where my intention goes. I want to look at this other card here. Okay, this was the other flyer. 
I witness the darkness and call on the light. This is also yours. With my prayer, thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of, of the teacher of love. My gosh, you guys. This is very, it's very goosebumpy. Look at this. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. That's also the universe. That's your spirit guides, your angels and your ancestors. And there is, there are people in your life around you. It's very strong. Your soul tribe. What is your soul tribe to you? It's going to be different for everybody. And look at this. We talked about the darkness we see here. We talk about the darkness here in the crumbling. And we also see it here coming out of that. The duality from the dark to the light. We quite literally see it here. We really see it here. Look at that. The age of light. Look what it's also. The crumbling. And look what comes right after it. You've been training for this for a lifetime. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? For some of you, it's to get off some kind of treadmill, whether that's in your mind, some a person, a job. What is that? Have you answered your deepest calling? The great gathering, your soul tribe, this awakening, coming out of this, you're witnessing it, you're honoring it, you're acknowledging it. We can't just let go of our shadow selves and our inner children. We can't turn our back. We have to face it and love our inner child and honor the shadow work. If we try to skip over it, we'll, yeah, we won't be able to hear what is coming or see what is coming because we get caught up in something in the past that a lot of times, most times, well, all times, what am I saying? It's not our fault. These are things that happen to us in our lifetime that do hold us back, that we need to face. The shadow work is real here, guys. And looking back and saying, I love you, and I believe in you, and you're going to be okay. And for those of you that feel like you didn't have somebody there for you when you needed them, you can be there for yourself now. Get rid of those negative beliefs, thought patterns that become beliefs Put the light in there. Believe in yourself and leap. Carry who you are with you. You can't let that go. Honor it. Forgive others. It's for ourselves when we forgive others. Forgive yourself. Lighten your load. See the light. See the love around you. The love in yourself. Love yourself. There's so much <laughs> here coming through and it's very emotional. This was also the one that was that was sticking out as the other two flew. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. What an absolutely beautiful card and very apropos here because we know that, guys. Of course you're connected. But something here has been holding you back and it's time to face that. Are we, are we going to reach this, any of us, this, this destination and say, okay, I've done all the work, I'm here. No, of course not. It's just not the way it is. It's about the journey. I talk about this a lot in my no contact love readings of all things. And yeah, but it is. It's about the journey, the destination. Yeah, there's things you want to do. There's, there's, for some of you, new love that you're looking for your life purpose, some of you wanting to accomplish things and goals, of course. But all of that connects. It connects with your soul tribe. It connects with your shadow self. It connects with who you are now. It connects with your past, current energies. It's the life journey because what is that? <laughs> there is no stop. You don't go and just stop and say, okay, I'm here now. Everything is, is that's it. There's always something to be learned. There are people coming and flowing, coming and going. And I wanted to say that's life, ebbing and flowing, going with the flow, letting go and let God, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can. There's something here. And if even if it's just one little change that you make, and that can be your thoughts, we see that here. Some clarity maybe of what you want to do, letting go of something. That is in your control. Control what you can, let go of what you can't. 
The universe has your back. <laughs> that is this deck. Okay, I'm going to end your reading today on, I'm gonna get a super attractor card and I have, what do I have here? <laughs> I have some universe cards actually. I have a lot of, you know, I actually have a lot of cards here. If you could see the stack, I would show you. I have a lot, but we can't bring them all in, can we? So let's channel a super attractor card and then we will get a message from the universe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us the cards or card, a ho. These are yours. My greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force. They come through freedom. Wow, yeah, this is extremely goosebumpy, guys. Why is this making me cry? The crumbling, what are you clinging to? Because look at the freedom of that. I know it's scary, but look, sorry to mess your reading up. As you leap, sometimes there are, there are people, things, places, thoughts that we need to let go of. And, and it can be also that it is, for some of you, I want to say in this sense, well, you're letting it go, but they are always a part of you or something from your past here. This is not going to be for everyone about just some clean break, you know? There are things that we're going to carry with us, but there's something really clearly that needs to be let go. It is just so incredibly clear. They come through freedom. and There's more of that full card energy. Also, that mercury energy is so strong because that is restoring order as well. And for some of you, that's, yeah, there's, it's coming through here of developing some better habits. Some of you aren't getting enough sleep, overworking. That's the mercury also coming through. And that's a really direct message from your spirit guides, your angels and ancestors here. We see it with the take a break, but I also really feel that. And that message is strong that just came through for somebody. When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. Yeah, look at that. And I can't dig everything up. You know it already here. Energy flows where my intention lies. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Through the eyes of the teacher of love. Lots of things happen that we don't want to happen. I, I yeah, terrible things. But there, there's, yeah, there is something here that really needs to be looked at and faced. And why is this little dust there? <laughs> you know why? That's what it is. Wow. So it's the past. Oh my gosh. I'm extremely goosebumpy with your reading. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. The age of light, you've been training for this for a lifetime. Awakening energetic upgrades. Warrior woman. Remember, it's not about gender. Have you answered your deepest calling? Your reading is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to end your reading today with a message from the universe, quite literally. I have to keep it sideways because there are messages on each side. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What would you like for our viewers to see, hear? What would you like to show them? What should they know? Please show us the card or cards as it may be. Uh -oh. You'll find what you seek. Boy, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna show you something else here. If you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone, amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, 
chances are astronomical you will again. If you haven't yet found such a person, chances are astronomical you will. It's up to you, the universe. Romantic love, but also soul tribe. Yeah, it's not a love reading. We know that already. This was falling off the deck. And, oh my gosh, okay, look, I got to show you this. These are all falling out for you, so they're yours. And we're going to really end your reading. Dwell on what you love. Let's look at the, the front first. Love in spite of it all. I know this has been difficult. A lot of you are already out of that dark. Some of you are still working your way out, awakening here. You've got this, getting that clarity heading toward your life purpose. Some of you are already heading there, but need that reminder about the journey, not just the destination. Create space for new love. So that is for, again, for some of you romantic, but also soul family, soul tribe. When a thing hurts your eyes, stop looking at it. When it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. And when it hurts your heart, stop justifying, and I love you so much, the universe. Okay, that is, that is the reading in a nutshell, really. Hurting your eyes, hurting your ears, when it hurts your heart, what is that that needs to be let go? For some of you, that is a person. It's just not for everybody, though. Create space for new love. That can be family. It, it can mean so many things, something that you're doing in your life. It's going to be very specific to everybody here. Love in spite of it all. Dwell on what you love. Life's journey. People. Asking someone to change is like pruning a tree. Neither will ever be the same again. Scarier still is that you can't quite know in what new directions they'll grow. I wouldn't change a leaf on you. <laughs> the universe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's all part of you. The past, the current, what it's all making you who you are. That dust that we saw. Yeah, there's something to be looked at and felt and evaluated, assessed, getting some clarity on, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. But everything you've been through is who you are. I wouldn't change a leaf on you. I love this so much. And your last card before we close your reading, love in spite of it all. Before this odyssey ever began, there was you, your best friends, and wide-eyed curiosity amongst you about who would be the first to leap. <sighs> okay, I have to take it out. And look, for some of you, it's really strong emphasis for a lot of you too on the soul tribe. It's not for everybody, and it's what it is for you. I'm sorry that I've had to mess up your beautiful reading here, but I had to take this out. Yeah, I didn't want to <laughs> mess it all up, but that's how it goes. Before this odyssey ever began, there was you, your best friend, your wide-eyed curiosity among who you about who. Who would be the first to leap, the first to forget, the first to kiss, the first to tell, the first to fall, the first to get up, and the first to remember that it all began with a dare, to love in spite of it all. Is that you, Murgatroyd? The universe. P.S. I remember the glint in your eyes. All three of them. It's you. It's you getting your love again. This is so, um, <laughs> really extremely goosebumpy. I love you guys. I love you very much. Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. The universe quite literally validated that. I remember the glint in your eyes. All three of them. All right. If you want to remember all those announcements, you can always play this through the chapters. All the links are below. I hope you will join me in our new Facebook group. I look forward to getting to know you. I wish you so much love, so much light. 
sleep. So many things I want to say, so I'm just going to end the reading today. I'll see you at your next reading. Bye.